And join us now is Zach Gallon, the ace of the Diamondbacks. Zach, congratulations on a terrific start. Uh, it's Greg Amson with Sean Casey and Chris Young. After taking game one, you guys felt like you were in the driver's seat of this series in L.A. Did your game plan change at all in terms of how aggressively you were going to approach this Dodger lineup? How's it going, fellas? Thanks for having me. Um, I, honestly, I mean, not really. My, my approach would have been the same, whether uh, we were up one nothing or down one nothing. Um, I think, you know, with a lineup like this, um, you know, and you're, you're playing at, at their park, I think you have to kind of be on the aggressive. Um, so I tried to stay on the attack. I mean, as cliche as it was, I was trying to stay ahead, stay in the attack mode, and just kind of, you know, put guys away. Zach, hey, man, Sean Casey, great job tonight. I, I, I want to go back to an at-bat in the fifth inning when, with, with Freddie Freeman. I mean, I think this, this was the game. Two guys on, first and third, your sequence. Can you take us back and take a look at what, what was going through your mind and, and, and what was going through, uh, you know, your thought process with the pitches here? He, uh, yeah, I, I kind of blacked out, so I don't remember them uh, exactly. Yes. Uh, my, my thought was just um, had a base open there um, with two outs. Um, and obviously, you know, Freddie's Freddie. So, you know, I was just trying not to give in. Um, and 3-2, I'm just like, all right, I, I got to make a pitch that, you know, is going to force him to swing. Um, and, you know, halfway to the home plate, I'm like, oh, I don't think he's going to swing at this. Um, <laughs> and just kind of froze him up. So, yeah, I was I was pretty fired up after that. Um, but, yeah, it was uh, – yeah, sometimes you got to do things a little different to get the results you need. Yeah, my dear friend Dan Plesak, who knows so much about pitching, says never throw the same pitch to a great hitter three consecutive pitches. You threw three straight curveballs to Freddie Freeman there. Did a thought like that go through your mind at all? Uh, yeah, I, I remember back in college, my, my college coach was like, you know, you got to have good, better, best if you're tripling up. Um, but I think sometimes, you know, just talking to hitters, I mean, they might not expect, you know, a curveball three, four, or five times. You know, just it's just what I felt with. Um, so I felt good with. So I'm like, all right, let's get beat on my best pitch and see what happens. Zach, Chris Young here, man. Young, you guys have gone into L.A., taking care of business there. At this point, I'm sure y'all have been watching the network. Every network out there had y'all as the quote-unquote underdog. Did y'all feed off of that energy? Do y'all look into anything like that? Do y'all prefer to be the underdog going into the series? Honestly, I think underdog is a compliment, to be honest with you. They, I, this is the way I, I interpreted what I, we were hearing about our, you know, ourselves and guys in that clubhouse. Um, and I think I, I could – I think I said this in my uh, pregame press the other day. It was like – Nobody expects us to be here other than, you know, the, the 26 guys in that clubhouse, the, you know, the staff, the sports staff, everybody. Like, nobody expects us to be here and be in this position. Um, so we're playing with house money, and I think that's when we're at our, our best is when we're, you know, we're playing like we feel like, you know, loose. Um, nobody expects us to be here and have that chip on our shoulder. Well, maybe Diamondback fans expect you to be here. So do you have a message for all those fans in Arizona right now that are watching what do you want them to, to do, and how do you want them to be when they go when you guys go back to Chase Field for Game 3? Yeah, uh, I mean, there hasn't been playoff baseball uh, at Chase Field in six years now. Um, and I don't think it's any secret to the D-backs fans that, you know, when teams like the Dodgers and the Padres come into town, it's we're almost like playing a, a, a road game. Um, so it would be nice to see them come out and, and you know, get the place loud, uh, make it as hostile an environment as you can, um, you know, because we're, we're, we're doing everything we can to put a good product in the field. Um, you know, to see them out and be loud, it'll, it'll be awesome. To, you know, be awesome to be a part of. Make the desert an intimidating place. I like it. Zach Allen, outstanding work tonight. You're fun to watch. Thanks for the time. We appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me on.